gorgeous outside. There's downtown all the way down there. Oh, looks like Texas Health has a helicopter. Right there. So, um, I'm visiting my mom from the hospital. Actually, my sister is. Uh, she's at Baylor Scott White in White uh, Hospital. Um, they're probably going to move her. I don't know when. But they're probably going to move her um, near the house to the physical therapist. Uh, so they can help her get moving again. And uh, just some of that physical therapy, basically. So I'm waiting for my sister. Um, so uh, normally I would be like in level 2 or 3. Well, no, three, four, or five. But <laughs> if you see my dash cam before this video, um, which I'm probably going to upload this video on all my channels. But if you see it on my vlogs channel, oh, look, they're really, really busy. Oh, look, Trinity Metro. Bye. Um, but, um, oh, there's. Cook's children over there. Love the landscape. Huh. Um, but anyway, um, so we've been visiting her on her every single day. Um, and seeing it's pandemic year, um, here's how they do it. Um, each person that's in the hospital, if it's not a COVID related, um, thing they'll actually test you for COVID anyway just in case um, look at that nice view uh, I love it um, but anyway so they'll test you for COVID the patient that goes in and um, because that I guess that determines where you're going um, and um, so they'll test you and then they'll fix you if you don't have COVID. Um, if you do, then uh, they'll, they have a floor that has all the COVID-19 patients. Um, so, but if you don't have COVID and you test negative for COVID and you're in the hospital, uh, when it came to my mom, I don't know if it's for everybody, I think it's for everybody, but you only get like one visit from one person so basically if you're a loved one and you have like a whole family only one of them can visit you per day and um well that's just for this hospital that i'm at i don't know if it's actually for every single hospital but i know it's just for the one that my mom's at right now and what they do is um they'll give you a band like this uh, and tells you the date. Um, so each one that does see a loved one at the hospital gets a band and it tells you the day. Like I went to visit her at in December of eight, December eighth of this year. My sister's son has like more than me because, well, she's seen her more than I have. Um, which normally. I would see her more too, but I just don't like hospitals. There's a, there's something in hospitals that I just don't like. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just got phobias of hospitals. I mean, I think they're awesome and stuff, but eh, I just don't like being in them, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird like that, but... Yep. So that's where we're at right now. And I'm just giving you guys a nice view. 
hopefully I don't drop my phone because wow, that's a long ways down. I kind of like being up here. Um, that's a new building right there. The CVS Pharmacy. It's hiding Chipotle right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a new building. Um, they just recently put that one up. This year, I think. Yeah, this year. Because I think the beginning of this year, before they started shutting things down, uh, they were still building that building. But but nobody knew what it was going to be um or i didn't see what it was going to be till after they created it there's some apartments there's an ambulance going by let's see oh there's the freeway medical city crazy people I think that's um, Dickie's Arena over there. I think that, that that's how you say it. 